Gigasar Duvelas was the Greek finance minister from 2014 to 2015. He joins us now from Pulitra Arcadia in Greece. Uh, Gigasar, uh, great to have your time tonight. Thank you. This must be quite reminiscent of a, a very tur another very turbulent time for Greece. Uh, Beverly, indeed, uh, Greece is going through a big trouble. Uh, we had hoped that the recession was going to be over. You know, back at the end of 2014, we had delivered an economy that was, was expected to grow at 3%. And now it's a, in a new recession. I mean, the new government uh, was inexperienced. It took a long time to close the deal with the Europeans and the remaining lenders. And uh, they lost credibility and they, uh, you know, created panic in the country. People withdrew their deposits. Eventually, we had capital controls. So uh, we're in the middle of a mess. And now we have new elections. And indeed, you have new elections, yet at the same time, we've seen that uh, it seems some of the parties are just scrambling to try and form coalitions that might even ward off elections, which would not then provide a very clear way forward. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, there's a, there's a process by the Constitution uh, through which uh, the president of the democracy asks the various leaders to try to form a government. I don't think this is going to be successful. I think by the end of next week, at the latest, we are going to have, uh, we are going to call elections and have an interim government essentially through a judge. Uh, and then we will have elections probably around the 20th of September. So quite quickly, uh, how do you think things might shape up? We see that uh, there's a group that have left Syriza and want to set up another breakaway group, still fighting these austerity measures. How much sway might they still have? Well, um, you know, the elections, uh, in my view at least, is a defensive move by the Greek prime minister uh, who is going to uh, actually face the wrath of Greek people because he promised a different Greece uh, seven, eight months ago, and he's bound to deliver more measures. In fact, he has delivered the recession already. So I think it's a defensive move because people still like him. They love him. He's young. He doesn't represent the past. So he wants to capitalize on this popularity before the tough measures come in. And Gikas, how much of that uh, admiration and following that uh, Tsipras has is about not wanting to accept some of the harsh realities, I guess, that uh, really have to be taken on board if Greece is going to ever come out of the situation? Well, there is a leftist opposition within his party that always created problems for Mr. Tsipras. And obviously those guys are breaking away. They are forming a new party. They called it, I think, the People's Union, something sounding very leftist. Uh, they are the people who want to take Greece. Uh, they don't really have a solution. They just say, let's leave the European uh, Monetary Union uh, and let's, uh, uh, have, let's go back to the good old days of the drachma. Uh, but they haven't really provided the road of how you do it. So um, essentially, Mr. Tsipras, by calling elections, he will be... Uh, uh, he will not have an internal opposition anymore, uh, but he, I don't think he solves the country's problem. The country didn't really need the new elections. I don't see the political equilibria being very different at the end of September than they were today. Would it be a good thing in a way if that, uh, as you say, that very leftist element left and uh, Tsipras then did get some mandate perhaps with a more centre group to perhaps go forward and then try build on this, uh, as you say, growth path out of this mess? Well, uh, Mr Tsipras uh, has a chance because the population, especially the young people, uh, trust him. Uh, he has a chance to endorse structural reforms. All, all, all along, he has fought structural reforms. And I think it's because he doesn't really understand that most of the reforms are a progressive policy. Uh, uh, opening up the closed professions, fighting oligopolies, uh, bringing uh, transparency into the public life, uh, fighting corruption. All of these things not only bring in revenues, but fix the country, 
and he needs to understand that he can no longer fight them. He has to endorse them. He has to show the way. He hasn't done it. But uh, since uh, he has the political power, we all hope that he will see the light, uh, hopefully after September. But it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough because uh, we have lost credibility with the rest of Europe. People see us and they don't believe what, they, what we say. Uh, we need to do a lot to gain that lost credibility, to bring back foreign investors into the country. Uh, we had managed it a year ago, but we have destroyed it over the last seven months. Could be time for another uh, a chance at politics. Kikas, uh, thank you so much for joining us with your insights. Thank you.